Hello Admirals of YouTube, this is NA2 right here. It's been another week and the um, Ta Pedro Taka missions have been going strong. So far I'm a little behind on the missions, but that's sort of what I wanted to talk about. Yeah, I'm still stuck on the stage too. Now it'll get better. But I want to talk a little bit about how the missions are going. There's no need to discuss about the carrier missions such as these. They'll probably end by the time this video is uploaded. And the but there are a few others. Hopefully you guys are doing the Halloween missions. Let's get into the discussion mode, what I want to talk about. I want to talk about the Arpeggio Takao. As you saw in the missions, for the Arpeggio Takao, you would have to complete a certain amount of base XP while using a tier 6 or higher ship. It could be used in random, co-op, ranked, team battle, anything. But that's sort of the thing about this. People are, some people are comparing the Arpeggio Takao missions to the first Arpeggio missions that happened. As some of you may remember, the Arpeggio, what was it, Miyoko and Kongo. Now, there are a lot of complaints about how hard those missions were as you can only obtain them in any, what was it, player versus player battles. That means no ranked battles, which is probably the most ideal time to use them. Because you're using upper tier ships at that point and it might be better, um, you'll probably do a lot better with earning on that. Otherwise, you do separately ranked season and earn the arpeggio missions at the same time, which would be way more difficult. So, I'm sort of comparing these two. And I think the Arpeggio Takao is much easier to earn than the Arpeggio Congo and Miyoko back in the day. The Arpeggio Takao missions are more universal. You're earning base XP for any upper tier tier 6 ship. But for the Arpeggio Congo and Takao, Ar Congo and Miyoko, you have to use any tier 5 or higher ship. But you have to complete a specific task, not just earn base XP, which you can do in any battle. But do a specific task. So for the Congo, you have to kill off 3 enemy cruisers shoot down over a dozen planes and do then do a certain amount of damage all in that order which should be a little bit more difficult unless you are getting good but that means you have to do them in in, in that specific order you have to you can't just skip and do um well you can't just skip and do one first and the other second or do them simultaneously but taco is universal so is it really more difficult to do Takao missions than the Arpeggio, Congo, and Miyoko. Forgive me if this seems like I'm a little bit of rambling. I'm just sort of going with the script right now. Well, not really the script, just going with it and talking about how I feel. So I'm, my uh, main point is Arpeggio Takao missions are a bit easier, but you still need to use a tier 6 or higher ship. So as long as you have the Miyoko class ships or any of the upper tier 6 or higher ships, like I have my Kiev and the... What other tier ships I have? New Orleans and the Farah Gut. Good son. Since I have those, I'm using them to rank up a bit. And I like the destroyers. Now, I've completed a few Halloween missions. I may not have good recordings of it, but I can say that I have completed a Halloween mission. One, two missions at least. But um, the base XP probably won't be the biggest gain from this. What I'm referring to more is the where is it? The Furious Guardians, oh these three, the two missions, three missions right here. Now doing any of these, either two killing two Zikasas, dealing a certain amount of damage, well, both of these are, and you would get a um, camouflage, the Halloween 2016. Now that sort of is fairly simple to obtain. Let's go to the exterior, oh I can't use exterior on these. No, but you're sort of using the... Uh, on the New Orleans comes in handy. There we go. Now this sort of does come in handy, as you can. What you can do is for rank battle, um, use your Halloween camouflage on the say my New Orleans, and then after you happen to maybe lose a battle or in between battles, you can just use one of your what was it, um, Halloween ships, complete a mission. And then you get already restore, restocked on the uh, camouflages. So that's sort of a good thing. Then you just continually cycle through them without having to worry about running out as long as these hollow missions are active for the next few days. That's sort of a plan. So I think that should be it for this video. So tell me in the comments below, what do you think is probably the better mission or the easier or mission that depends on how good you are, but still. Was it easier to do the Arpeggio Congo and Miyoko, or is it easier to do right now the Arpeggio Takao? Also, what do you think about the combo using Halloween Camouflage with your um, ranked battles for this season? Leave a comment down below too. So, that's it for this video. 
Thank you for watching this.